Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, I wholeheartedly welcome you. Guys, are you that person that makes a list of symptoms to take to your doctor's appointment? Are you that person that makes a list of questions to tell the doctor when you go see the doctor? If you're that person or you know somebody that knows somebody that's that person, you're in the right place and welcome in. So guys, we're going to talk briefly today about uh, a couple of things and then we'll lead to another conversation but today we're going to talk about bedside manners and being embarrassed to talk to your doctor as well as getting your questions answered by your doctor guys the doctor works for you that's what they are there for is to help you if the doctor cannot help you or they're refusing to help you or they're not giving you the satisfaction that you are looking for it's time for you to move on and find another doctor. So again, we only have one ticker and we're numero uno when it comes to that doctor. You should be the only thing on that doctor's mind at that point. Never, ever, ever be embarrassed about anything about your body or even about your mental state because guess what? Doctors are there to solidify your problem and if they cannot come up with a solution, they're gonna collaborate with other doctors so they can come up with a concept and an answer for you. So do not let that doctor get away with not helping you. That is their job. They are there to help you. Now, on another point, there is no need to go into the doctor's office and be negative or nasty to the doctor because they're only there to help you. But if they're not helping you, then you need to just pick your bags up and walk away from the doctor and find another doctor. There are ways that you can find great doctors you can go and look at their charts. You can go and look at how they're rated. And you can go to the responsible channels that rate the doctors, right? So also, if the doctor's not treating you right, you have the right to go and report that doctor. They take, they take an oath to help people. So guys, I just want you to be aware not to be afraid to talk to your doctor. Don't be embarrassed to talk to your doctor. So again, this backfired on me from when I was younger that I didn't talk to my parents and I definitely didn't talk to my doctor about certain things and it backfired. And I'm not gonna talk about that situation because it's way, way back. I'm gonna talk about two uh, situations that happened more recently. So about uh, maybe 15 years, 12, 12, 15 years ago, I went to the doctor and I was complaining about numbness from my elbow all the way up and that my hands were very, very cold. They felt freezing cold. I was falling and I had really bad back pains. And the doctor comes in and you know when you go into the doctor, you fill out this chart and they tell you, um, you tell them what you're there for, blah, 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 blah. And they put the chart on the door. I always read the chart. I always read the chart when I go into the doctor's office to make sure that they put everything on that chart. So the doctor comes in and he says, what can I do for you? Your blood work came back fine. What can I do for you? I said, well, my back is hurting me really bad and I have the numbness, the tingling, and my hands are really cold. Do you know what this doctor said to me? He said, you're fat. I looked at my husband, I said, did he really just say that? My husband told him, you put a handle on that man. You respect my wife. Besides, you have never missed a meal a day in your life. He was morbidly obese and the nerve. And I said, don't worry, let's go. I picked my bag up and I walked out. I said, not only are you morbidly obese, you're rude, you're obnoxious, and on top of that, you're a tardy person because you were 15 minutes late to my appointment that I got here 30 minutes early for. I walked out got my copay back and I left and I said, you tell the doctor. I said, no, I'm going to tell him. He's in another room with another office, tell with another patient, tell him to come to the door. I said, not only am I going to report you, I'm going to tell everybody that to never come and see you. Never. Because guess what? Word of mouth, bad news circulate faster than good news. You don't ever want that. And trust and believe, I know how that works. So fast forward, I went to another doctor. And the doctor says, what can I do for you, ma'am? Not hello, Miss so-and-so, or what seems to be the problem. What can I do for you, ma'am? I was like, man, he's a little pompous. He's very rude. I don't even like the way he approached me. And I said, did you not look at the chart on the door? 
Yeah, I looked at the chart and um, yeah, you're complaining about your back. All you need to do is take some 800 ibuprofen and you'll be just fine. I can write you a prescription. No, man, that is not all I said. But since that's what you're saying, I think I should just, he says, no, I'm just saying people come in all the time wanting days off from work because they just too lazy. Really? Did he say that? I've been working since I was 14 years old. I am not lazy. I said, and I'm not like your average person that you see either. I said, but that's okay. Snatched my bag and walked out. I said, oh, I will be reporting you. Trust and believe I will be reporting you. Well, ma'am, I'm just, no, too late. Bedside manners suck. So I finally found a great doctor. Bedside manners is, he doesn't even let the nurse come out and greet you. He comes out and greets his customers. He, bring, he says, I'll be with you. He's always on time. If your appointment is at 11 o'clock, they tell you to be there 15 minutes early and at 11 o'clock, he's coming out of his office, greeting you and bringing you back to the office. Bedside manners. He says, okay, how are you feeling today? Let's do run through the test. And this is my MS doctor, my neurologist. He runs through the test with everything. He goes over the charts, he goes over everything he sends me down and he comes back and he says okay so if you're not feeling good like if i was really sick what doctor picks up the phone on a weekend and call you and ask you how you're feeling my doctor did every time i've been sick he's called to check up on me so that's bedside manners so guys i hope you've enjoyed this small video but i want to tell you also that i am going live on wednesday september the 9th at 7 p.m eastern standard time and we are going to talk about bedside manners and doctors what you need to do not to be embarrassed about your situation so i hope you join me on wednesday september 9th at 7 p.m eastern standard time Meanwhile, do me a favor, review this full video, and guys, leave me some comments. Have you had doctors that didn't give you good bedside manners? What did you do? How did you approach it? What did they do? So leave those comments. I want to hear them. But also, after you looked at the video fully, leave the genuine comment. Then you go over and share it out because sharing is caring. I want everybody to know. And then don't forget to go down below, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell so you can be notified of my fabulous videos. I thank you so very much for joining me today. See you next time. Love you long time. Bye-bye now.